Hello brothers and sisters, we welcome you all back to the Sons of God YouTube channel. We will be sharing with you all, a most recent message, from Our Lady. This message was given to Pedro Regis, and to Luz de Maria. We encourage you all, to watch this message to the end, so as to ensure you don't miss any vital information given. And please help share this message to others, for the sake of their salvation. God bless you all. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your Spirit that we be created, and you renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit instructed the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise, and always enjoy your consolations, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady Queen of Peace, to Pedro Regis on October 14, 2023. Dear children, courage. Do not lose heart. The victory of the Church of my Jesus will come through love and the defense of the truth. Due to the fault of bad shepherds, errors will spread everywhere, but the powers of hell will never overcome the true Church of my Son Jesus. Be attentive, be filled with hope. Do not allow the quagmire of false doctrines to drag you into the spiritual abyss. Listen to Jesus and the teachings of the true magisterium of his church. With the rosary in your hands, fight against the enemies of God. Your weapon of defense will always be the truth. I am your mother and I come from heaven to help you. Listen to me. I know your needs and will pray to my Jesus, for you. Onward without fear. This is the message that I give you today, in the name of the Most Holy Trinity. Thank you for having allowed me to gather you here once more. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be at peace. Our Lady Queen of Peace, to Pedro Regis on October 17, 2023. Dear children, your hope and salvation is in my Son Jesus alone. Wait on the Lord with joy. In him is your complete happiness. Seek the treasures of heaven. Everything in this life passes, but the grace of God within you will be eternal. Do not be discouraged. Even in the midst of tribulations, believe that everything will end well for the righteous. Whatever happens, remain faithful to my son Jesus. Do not depart from prayer, for only thus can you bear the weight of the trials that will come. Bad shepherds will open wide doors, and a great multitude will head towards the spiritual abyss. I suffer because for what happens to you, Seek strength in the sacrament of confession and in the Eucharist. Do not forget, your weapon of defense is the truth. This is the message that I give you today in the name of the Most Holy Trinity. Thank you for having allowed me to gather you here once more. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be at peace.
Our Lady Queen of Peace, to Pedro Regis on October 21, 2023. Dear children, stay away from sin, for only then can you understand my presence, in your midst. Sin leads you to spiritual blindness, and prevents you from understanding the Lord's plans, for your lives. Be careful. You have freedom, but I invite you to place limits on your freedom. Do not be slaves of the devil. I ask you to keep the flame of your faith alight. You are heading towards a future of great darkness. Seek the light of the Lord. He wants to save you, but whether he can act in your favor depends on your will. Pray. When you are away, you become the target of God's enemy. Repent and seek the mercy of my Jesus through the sacrament of confession. Onward. Do not put off what you need to do until tomorrow. I love you and will pray to my Jesus for you. Courage. After all the pain, great joy will come for the righteous. This is the message that I give you today in the name of the Most Holy Trinity. Thank you for having allowed me to gather you here once more. I bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Be at peace. Message of the Most Holy Virgin Mary To Luz de Maria October 17, 2023 Beloved children of my Immaculate Heart, receive my blessing. Your faith must remain firm, my children. Faith is the defense of my Divine Son's children. Beloved children, you are walking in the midst the winds of war and pain. Darkness is covering the earth, and with the darkness comes that which causes my children great anguish. The great veil that was holding back war has been torn, and at this moment, pain is rising, and human beings are living out a great nightmare. War will spread, and become fiercer, advancing among the nations, until two great powers become involved, in this nightmare for humanity. Beloved children, humanity has come to its most serious crossroads, the innocent suffer, without being guilty. The whole human race should pray, in order to reject the evil oppressor of the soul, who prowls over all the earth, encouraging human beings to commit acts of terrorism, causing humanity to live in tension. Little children, prayer is a barrier to evil. The people who pray united, are a people who desire the protection of this mother. Prayer is a source of blessings, and reinforces faith. Prayer done from the heart, obtain great miracle. It stop what is humanly impossible to stop, it surpasses expectation, and is a shield against the devil. The desert will no longer be a desert, death will cease to cause fear, those who suffer in their captivity, will call out for it, death being relief from agony. Pray with the heart, those whose health allows them to fast, should do so. Otherwise, fast from whatever is most difficult for you to give up. As children of my Divine Son, accompany him in his sorrowful passion, and take an active part in the community activities, to which the Church calls you. This Mother intercedes for each one of you, before the Trinitarian Throne. Alienated from the Most Holy Trinity, this generation is easy prey for evil, it has no ideals, or aspirations of its own. Some remain faithful to my Divine Son, but others deny his divinity. Little children, without participating in what you hear, regarding the religion that my Divine Son founded, stand firm, not out of fear, but out of love, conviction, and faith. Without fear, but being cautious in your work, and actions being faithful to my Divine Son, remain on spiritual alert, invoking the holy name of my Divine Son. Accomplish the Father's will, without allowing ideologies, contrary to the religion, established by my Divine Son, to penetrate within your homes, or the minds, and hearts of your families. 
show foresight, and make supplies of necessary items, according to what each person can do, and offer them to my Divine Son. At this time you must remain more united to the Holy Trinity, to this Mother, to your guardian angels, and to the saints to whom you are devoted. The angelic legions are waiting to be invoked by you. May my special blessing be upon each of you, with the protection of the Most Holy Trinity, I bless you with my love, so that it would be the distinctive mark that prevents the enemy of the soul from harming you. Mother Mary. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. That comes the end of today's message. Brothers and sisters, please do well to thank Our Lady on the comment session. Please give this video a like and ensure you share this message to others. If you have questions, please let us know on the comment session. We will be glad to respond to you all. God bless you all. See you in our next video.